hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new thank you so much for joining me on this video if you are already a family member thank you so much for coming back for this week's video <laughs> I don't want to waste any more time. I don't want to waste your time. Let's just go ahead and get right into this. I mean, who doesn't want to save money first and foremost? Like I absolutely hated spending so much money on college books, especially when they were just going to get piled up and stuck in the corner of my room somewhere and I'd never use them again, especially if they were these giant textbooks. I found this website that I'm really excited to share with you guys. Let's go ahead and jump over to, you know, the screen recording and let's get right into this. All right, guys, so now that we are over here on our screen recording, um, what I wanna go ahead and do is have you guys go to your Google search or your Google Chrome, whatever, and I want you to go directly to your university's um, student login page. So that's gonna be where you're gonna have access to all of your classes and all of your courses and specifically, your syllabus. So I attend Woodbury University, as you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and log in and find um, one of the courses or one of my classes that I signed up for this spring semester and find the syllabus for that course. You know, I'm just gonna pick a class. I'm gonna do consumer behavior because it's actually a course that I still need to find my book for. So I'm gonna go ahead, click on that, and then I'm going directly to the um, syllabus and you can see here I've actually already downloaded it so I'm not going to download it again but you're going to go ahead click on that and save it to your desktop or wherever it might be so um, what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is just pull up my consumer behavior course the syllabus so this is the um, this is going to be the information that I need to look for so I'm going to come down here and just look through my syllabus. Generally, all of my professors tend to put it about the same time. Here we go. You're gonna see that I have one, reading materials on Moodle, which is like our Blackboard or um, our Canvas. And then the second thing I need is my consumer behavior book. It's the eighth edition, 2017, by uh, last names are Rabin and Harris. Even if you have like an ISBN number, that's great information too. Um, there's different ways to input this. So as long as you have your information that you need right here, we're gonna go ahead and minimize this. And then we're gonna go ahead to our Google search. Basically, the website is called Library um, Genesis. You know, I'm going to put the link down below. It's going to be abbreviated, but for me personally, I have it saved as a bookmark just because it's easier. You're going to go ahead and type in L-I-B- G-E-N dot R-S. Um, again, for me, I just have it here as, you know, free books bookmark. So I, anytime I need my books for class, I'm going to go there and this is what the website's going to look like. So there's a couple different ways that this could go. Sometimes it's not always correct if you put um, the ISBN in. Sometimes it works better if you put the author's name. Sometimes it works better if you only put the title. So if it doesn't work one way, it doesn't mean the book is not there at all. So we're going to go back to the tab that I told you to keep open and we're going to see that the book I need is consumer behavior. So that's the first thing I'm going to highlight, copy, and we're going to go back here and we're just going to paste that. Now you see how it has this space. You want to make sure that all of that's deleted, only put consumer behavior and then hit search. So what you're going to notice with this is there's a lot of results, which is great because that, you know, increases our chances of the free book being here. But that means that's a lot that you have to go through trying to figure out which is which. So the easiest way to do this, figuring out what has the least amount of searches. That's what I figured out. So because you can see the authors here, you can see the title, you can see the publisher, you can see what year it was published, the and that's pretty much it. That, oh, you also will need the edition of the book, which is gonna be right here. So this is like first edition. So when we go back to the information that we need, we see the title is called Consumer Behavior. It's the eighth edition. It was published in 2017 
The author's last names are Babin and Harris. And again, sometimes they'll offer the ISB number and extra information, but you can find it with just this much information as well. With that being said, for me personally, because I've done this so many times, I know that searching the last names is going to show better and fewer results than just typing in consumer behavior because consumer behavior is such a wide variety and so many different results can pop up. So what I'm going to do is just copy the Babin and Harris portion right here. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go back to my website and I'm going to delete consumer behavior and I'm going to paste Babin and Harris and hit search. So you're going to see it went from five pages to literally four results right here. That is a lot easier. Um, and other times, you know, the ISBN number is such a specific number, there can only be one of it um, with all the correct information that you need. So you can go ahead and put the ISBN number up here, but just go ahead and make sure you hit this ISBN tab um, right here and it will filter it out. But again, we don't have an ISBN number, so we're gonna go with this. So we see that all four of these books are by Babin and Harris, but one of these actually has um, a Murray, Kyle Bain, I believe, but we know that's not the one we're gonna need because we only have two authors and this gives three. That's not what we're looking for. So we're gonna go ahead and head back to our book. So we see it's Babin and Harris, and we see the titles consumer behavior. So we're looking for an eighth edition that was published in 2017. So when we head back, we're gonna see the year needs to be 2017 and it has to be an eighth edition. Well, this was really easy because out of the four years, there's only one that is 2017. So that eliminates it right there. I see that all my information is correct. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is click on the um, blue, it's a link is attached to it. So I will let you guys know right now that a lot of the ways that you download this is going to be a PDF format, which is really nice actually, because what you're gonna notice is that when it comes time to take your test or there's an exam, when you have something in a PDF form on your computer, it's super nice because there is a search key factor that allows you to go ahead and look at the question that pops up on your quiz and there's certain key terms within that quiz when they ask certain questions that you can go to the PDF file and um, type those keywords in and it's going to match it up. Yes, so this popped up here and you're going to see there's like a lot of information going on. But this is also a really good way for you to double check your um, information before you go ahead and download this um, officially as a file. So after you have all of that, you're going to be able to go ahead and hit this, the CB again with the access code, and that's going to take you to this page. So when you see this, um, you want to go straight up to get, and you're going to hit that. And then it's going to pop up with your ability to download this and I am going to download it to my consumer behavior class. And then at the bottom, it's gonna be loading and I just downloaded the consumer behavior class with the book that I needed in PDF form with that search key um, factor. That's gonna be really helpful when I'm taking quizzes and I didn't have to pay for it. We can go to our consumer behavior course and you see that it is here in the full PDF form. So I can open it up and it shows here, this is the book. And you can even double check by going into the contents right here. That is it for how we figure out and how to get these free books. You can do the exact same thing with all your different classes. Um, and again, you can just tweak it depending on how you want to search it. It's completely up to you. Just hope that this method and this tool has been super helpful for you guys. So guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys found this video to be informative. If you did really enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate all the love and support that you guys have shown me. And if you are new, I hope you keep coming back for new videos. I really want to start posting more how-to videos because I find that 
I find those really informative when I learn new stuff. So with that being said, make sure to comment down below um, if this was a new site that you learned about or if you've already heard about it. And until then, I will see you guys later. Please stay safe, stay healthy, um, stay warm, and I will see you guys next time when I upload. All right, take care, guys. Bye.